It's an Eastern Conference battle here at the Air Canada Center in downtown Toronto as the Raptors look to work their home court advantage. 2K Sports brings you Friday night NBA action. This is Kevin Harlan with Clark Kellogg and Steve Kerr on the sideline tonight, Doris Burke. Taking a look at Boston, winning their last three games. They'd like to make that four in a row here tonight. Well, the streak is still going, but right now they're facing a team that's going to make it tough for that streak to continue. We'll see if they've got enough moxie and enough confidence and enough poise to win another one. Well, I think they'll have enough confidence, Clark, because right now they feel like they can beat anybody. But you're right, this could be the toughest test yet for them during this win streak. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's check out who's on the floor, courtesy of Gatorade. On the floor for Boston. They've got Young. He's out there at Tony Roden. And it's Saunders in at the four spot. And so it's the Raptors getting on the board first. Roden kicks to Landry. Here's the three. Roden, no good. On defense, Boston. It's a three-point game. Coming into this, having notched a win against Cleveland in their last game. You know, so often in the NBA, we talk about how you have to earn your points the hard way, but... Didn't seem like that was the case. Everything came pretty easily. Too many of their points came the easy way, Steve. Oh, how oh, 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 about oh. that basketball, that man? Beautiful. Wow. Wow, and that sort of showmanship is just deflating right now to a team trying Clark to get back into this game like this. Yeah, definitely a jam with emphasis. A big apostrophe or exclamation point. How about maybe even a question mark, Clark? <laughs> well, you know what the questions are about now. It's their defense, that's for sure. Easy call there. No question about that one. You can hear the impact from where I am. The Celtics shooting their first free throws of the night. First one falls for them. And Roten drops them both. For Toronto, they've gone three of four from the field to start out the game. Screen by Duncan. First quarter of play with about a minute and a half gone. The pass to Long. Six to shoot. Here's the teardrop. And Duncan finishes inside. 
and they're nearly perfect from the floor early on. Four of their first five shots they've drained. Again, Doris Burke spoke with Mike Malone. Doris? They are going up against arguably the toughest center the NBA has to offer in Dwight Howard. One problem that Howard poses is his ability to send shots away on the defensive end. He told his players to be fearless and not think twice about taking shots, saying, a lot of the D Howard plays is mental. He just has shooters second guessing. He might have them third guessing, guys. Thanks, Doris. And Young kicks to rope. And there's a nice one-handed slam. That's a mammoth dunk for someone who's far from the biggest guy out there on the floor. Yeah, perhaps that'll give them the boost they're looking for to get out of the hole here. Yeah, it should. I mean, if that doesn't fire them up, I don't know what will. Boy, with an open look like that, he is so gifted. Man, you've got to play better defense. Eventually, he's going to make you pay. You got that right. I mean, he'll do it from three-point land or anywhere on the perimeter, really, because he is a deadly shooter. You've got to do a better job defensively. And in this first quarter, about three minutes played. That's good. He's got five. And a lot of times, his first quarter seems to dictate how big of a role he plays later on, and he's off to the good start. Saunders covered by Duncan. That's good. He was the first one to react to that miss. Excellent anticipation on his part. A hustle play on the putback by him. First quarter of play and uh, just over three and a half minutes in. He's been one of their more reliable options today, guys. I mean, his shooting has led them to this lead. Roten kicks to Young. Inside to Lynn. From the left block, he sends it through. Very well done. He is a confident, yes. dynamic scorer. Toronto leading by five. D passes to Ross. And a miss there on the triple. Nobody near him. He'll normally make that one. Roten dishes to Landry. Now the Raptors moving it up. Boom, he jams it straight down. And this sort of awesome dunk is one of the reasons this team is in charge of this game right now. Clark, there is a swagger out here on the court that they possess and are not afraid to show it either. That's right. Those are phenomenal dunks to watch. So much fun. Agility leads to thievery there as he got his hand in there to get the steal. Intelligent play to immediately start the break. Plays like that are telling the story of this game for me so far, Clark. They cannot afford to hand over any more easy points like that. Passes it to Saunders. Young outside, lets it go with a three. Rebounded by Howard. Toronto's gone three of five from three-point land so far in the ballgame. Here's D, and another D. basket for Toronto. Well, they had a pretty good grasp of the game plan coming into this one. That's been very apparent. And anytime a team gets a double-digit lead in the first quarter, Steve, you could be headed for blowout city. Work the pick and roll for Pete's sake. If their big shows at the shooter, I want our bigs to roll to the hoop and make them pay at the rim. Now let's go. Well, these are players that have a job to do, and they've been doing it very well. Here's a look at the top passing point guards in the NBA over the course of the past 10 games. Angela Gadee, an uncommonly gifted passer. You know, for the purists out there, he has really been fun to watch with the ball in his hands. He can make any pass on the court, and he creates so many easy baskets for his teammates. Yeah, you know, I'd love to know, Steve, how many of their baskets have come as a direct result of one of his passes. I know it's a bunch. Their offense isn't near what it is without him at the wheel. And Clark, we saw a very animated huddle that last break, and I'm sure the coach wanted something specific from his team. Well, Kevin, this is certainly a key moment for the squad, and he's looking for players to lock into the new game plan and carry it out the rest of the way. That's what he's trying to get across. Here's Landry. That one's off, still out of sync. Raptors leading by 13. Oh, no. oh man, that was a real mark it up. They're playing with a purpose, guys. The big lead becoming bigger. I like the look in their eyes. And it's on both ends that they've been controlling the action. And the call will be against D. 
That is his first foul of the game. Hall's checked in for Duncan. And the Celtics making a change here. Young right side. To the wing on the left. Here's Roten. And it's Toronto with the rebound. Last time these two teams came together was also in this building. And they were able to win it for the home fans. Yeah, and in the end, it wasn't even close. I mean, they had points coming from all over the floor. Boy, they were locked in and ready to roll. And offensively, they just had a rhythm that was impressive. From 10 feet out, and that one's good. Roten's got 10 points. He's simply a machine at the offensive end. I wonder how far behind they'd be if he wasn't having this kind of court. Doubled by Roten. D passes to Wall. The three. And there's three points. The long range shot is on target from D. You know, there's no better sign of how efficiently a team is operating than their assist numbers. And theirs are fantastic. It's just beautiful basketball to watch, Clark. And blocked. Tell you what, they haven't wasted any time getting into the swing of things on the boards. Yeah, and even though it's early, I mean, that's a great sign for them for the rest of the game. From the arc, and again, Toronto with the triple. And a closer look here at the hustle stats for the Raptors. You know, they've done a great job of getting a hand up on shooters. Actually, have gotten a lot of blocks as well, solidifying that defensive effort. I think they're also getting some good looks in transition, doing a nice job of running the floor. For Boston, they have had two chances at the line already, making them both. Well, this is a kind of a mediocre free throw shooting team. They're sitting there at about 73% as a unit. I like that shooting. Really to the point where they should be. Last outing for Toronto, they won that game against the Brooklyn Nets. And they were so proficient in that game offensively. Guys, their passing was dynamic. Shot making, a really good flow to their offense. Well, they played a very intelligent game of basketball, Steve, and those two things go hand in hand. They built a big lead here early. Both Defensively and offensively, they've been terrific right from the tip. I want us to get shots up as early in the shot clock as possible. Spread the floor, make quick passes, and if you get a decent look at the basket, take it. Attack! Let's go! D, he's checked in for Toronto. Celtics trail by 21. Now Young inside. Lays it up and in off the pretty assist. And guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with the way they work down low. Well, it's become one of the stories of the first half, Clark, just piling up points in the paint. It's 12 straight points coming off three-pointers. I mean, somebody do something defensively. Well, I, I agree with you. I mean, who's going to step up? Uh, they're rolling out there now, so you got to get in there.